Hello everybody and today we are taking a look at a little symbol you may have found printed on your DSLR. So this is what the symbol looks like. It looks like a line drawn through a circle and this is called a film plane indicator. Now in our case of digital cameras, it's really a sensor plane indicator. So on DSLRs, you would usually find the symbol printed on the side of your viewfinder towards the back of the camera. And as you may have probably figured out from the name, it simply indicates where the sensor plane or the film plane is. So if you were to use the sensor plane indicator as a guide and slice your camera right along it, very likely you would have grazed your image sensor. Now an alternative name for the film plane or sensor plane indicator is the focal plane indicator. Now this is important for what we're going to talk about next. Now some of you may already know what that marking means and if my explanation made sense earlier on, all of you should now know what that marking means. But why is the marking there? Why should you care how far back your image sensor sits inside the camera body? There's really no way to overcomplicate it. It's there for you to measure focus. Now, focusing distance is actually measured from the sensor or the film and not from the tip of the lens, which is a very common misconception. So if, say, you have a lens that's focused on the subject at 5 feet, that's 5 feet from your image sensor to the subject and not 5 feet from your lens's front element to the subject. So in a sense, I guess you can say the length of your lens is included within the focusing distance. Now, knowing where the sensor plane is doesn't really matter that much for stills photography because we almost never have to measure focusing distance due to how much we rely on autofocus. But in the film industry, it is still very commonly used. The distance between the subject and the camera is measured all the time by first assistant cameras on film sets and many focus pullers pull focus by gauging distance. So if you notice, the film plane indicator on most stills camera is just a marking printed on the body of the camera. But on many cinema cameras, that marking is accompanied by a tab that sticks out. Now that tab is there for you to hook a tape measure on and measure distance from the film plane. So I hope you enjoyed my explanation on what a film plane indicator is. I would also love to hear from you guys what you would like me to explain on this channel next. So that's it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions and comments, just leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video.